For those of you that are running a website and are active in social media, I found something that you might be interested in. Hey, I'm Jonathan with App Access, and I help independent healthcare providers stay in touch with their mobile first audiences. If you want more app reviews and tips and hints that'll help you along your social media journey, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below. So when you're deep into social media, it's difficult to be everywhere. Meaning there are so many platforms that call for your attention. I won't go through them all, but you know, the famous ones, you know, the popular ones. It's hard to be everywhere, but at the same time, it's important that you reserve your space in these platforms, even if you're not active in them so that no one takes that online real estate at the same time. It's important to remember that you should, or you would get the most mileage out of selecting one, maybe two locations that you want to be known for. And mine in particular is YouTube. I want to be able to share whenever possible, wherever possible, my presence. One of the things that's important is that if you have a website, you can show people where your focus lies and where your conversations are being had. When you go to your website or when they go to your website, they should be able to identify, well, hey, that they're constantly on YouTube or they're constantly on LinkedIn. And a way to do that is by using this interesting tool that I found that helps you communicate that uh, very efficiently. It's called juicer.io. Let's take a look at it. Okay, so this is juicer.io. It's a website that basically, to describe what they do very succinctly, what they do is they integrate all your social media conversations onto your website, basically like a uh, little bit of code that's added to the bottom of your, your uh, website footer that basically just lists out everything, uh, the latest updates on your website, rather than having to do that through other means or more complicated coding or what have you, or softwares. So let's take a look at it. So when you enter their website, you're met with these options. Basically you see here, there's a limit. You can have, you know, the large one, the expensive one is 15 sources, uh, or hashtags per feed. The medium is five sources per account or, uh, hashtags per account. And the one that I'm using is the small, which is the free version. Basically I can select two sources or two hashtags and basically feed that into my website. And so how you do that is pretty simple. So when you arrive, you'll be asked to, you know, add a feed when you get to your feeds, right? When you get to the page, uh, basically it just walks you through step-by-step step of which ones you want to connect. In my case, I've already connected my YouTube, but you see here, they integrate well with Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Slack, Spotify, Tumblr, and Twitter. So you have a lot of options here. So let's check it out. Let's see what they do. When I go to. When I go to my feed, basically, uh, this jumble here in the top left corner is my YouTube channel. That's my channel ID. And I just linked that as my account that I wanted to focus on. And automatically it populates all the videos that are on my channel. And because it's free, they, every once in a while will incorporate some advertising there. All these things, like for instance, this video here, no conversation yet, but I did get 134 views. Let's go to one of my more popular ones. Let's see. Okay. Well, let's check it out real quick. So here's one example. So this is a recent video I did on Canva and it shows you the conversations and you can open up the conversation and view the video and view the conversation on YouTube there. If I were to link my Twitter account, this in lieu of this thumbnail, it would be basically the post and it would show you all the tweets and retweets and the shares and likes and, um, the conversation that people are having. Another example that I'd like to show you is on a different website. Actually, um, they actually do a good job of showing some examples of how this plays out, but basically, yeah, this would be how my feed would look on the bottom of my page and you can customize it by, you know, um, your colors and you can save the customization. Um, and of course, embed to your site moderation controls, which is important if you have a lot of trolls. Um, there's some analytics. You can share the feed. Um, and also 
yeah, here's the styles. You can choose night mode. Let's see, Polaroid. What's that? Okay, great. Okay, image grid, which takes out a lot of the wording if you're more of a visual person. Um, sliders, which I don't have, okay? But you get the idea. It's just basically design layout. So let's take a look at some of the, the way that it looks on other platforms. So yeah, so this is basically what you would actually see when you uh, first go to juicer.io. What I showed you previously was the way that your uh, dashboard would look basically. Um, so this is how it's laid out when you actually go to the website. And this is a pretty much a great image they have here, just a um, infographic here. It's like, hey, this is your website. These are your social conversations, period. I wanted to show you some of the examples that they have on the site. Let's take a look at that real quick. Let's look at Princeton, right? Let's look at Princeton. Okay, so if you scroll all the way down, actually right here, boom, there it is. This is what it does. Everything that's your latest and greatest, whether it's on Facebook or Instagram in this case. So here it is, is a look at what Princeton has laid out almost oh, two thirds of the way down underneath the calendar they have here. Here's the social media, what's going on on all the conversations that they're having across Facebook and Instagram. So it gives you an option uh, to lay out how you want to be having those important conversations. But let me know your thoughts. Uh, what are your thoughts on this program? You know, um, as far as what I think, and as far as features, I'll give it an 80. It basically merges conversations, you know, into your website. And it does a good job of it. And it gives you a lot of options as far as layout. As far as ease of use, it's pretty plug and play. I, I, I'll tell you that much. I, I didn't have any complications in executing or following the instructions that they laid out. So good job on their part. As far as support, I don't see a lot of need for it. I haven't had any complications to check on it. So I'm going to give them a hundred on that. The value, I'll give them a 60. Um, there are three, it's a three tiered priced options that you see there, the free and the mid tier and the expensive tier for the larger organizations. The conversations seem kind of limited to me, um, you know, three hashtags or three social accounts. Those numbers are are, are kind of slim. And I'm, I'm really looking at evaluating in this case, the free version, because you want to take advantage of as much free as possible because all these little apps and stuff can cut into your budget. So the ones that do free well, you want to take advantage of it. So. You know, for free, you get, you know, two conversations. Uh, well, I say conversations, two social feeds or two hashtags that you can follow those conversations and post on your website, which is decent. But I'll give them, a, I'll give them a 60 for the value there. Um, they seem kind of pricey for what they do offer, in my opinion. I really like it. I'll give it an 85. But with that, what do you think? What are you using to merge your conversations onto your websites? If you do that, is that something you're interested in? Please do let me know. Go ahead and like and subscribe. I'll be sure to converse with you in the comments below. See you next time.